Good evening, and thanks for joining us for this special live edition of Your True Potential. My name is Dan Lear, and I'm here to answer any questions you might have regarding your career, your personal life, your family, your spouse, or maybe you just need a confidence boost. Give us a call at 1-800-983-1870. That's 800-983-1870. And a special gift tonight for some of our lucky callers. You'll receive a copy of my new book, The 10-Minute Coach. It's a compilation of several of my coaching sessions. It's 10 years of my best work. And I'll also autograph the copies for you. Before we get to our first caller, let's do a quick check on where you are and how you're doing in relationship to your goals. I mean, this is a great time to check on our progress. So, how you doing? Are you on target? Or maybe the question is, what's preventing you from achieving your true potential? This show is designed to help keep you on track for the entire year. Well, let's get, start, get, let's get started. We've got a call from Cheryl. Cheryl, are you on the line? I'm here. Hi, Cheryl. How Hi, are you Dan. today? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic, thanks. Uh, what's Great. your question? Well, I have a question. I'm building a team with a direct sales company, okay. and I'm wondering how can I keep myself inspired and focused as well as my whole team? Okay. That's a great question. How long have you been in the organization? Um, just about six years. Oh, wow. So you've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, and you're, uh, I'm assuming your group is pretty big. It's getting there. It's a, bit, it's a, bit, a little over 300. Wow. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, so it's, grow, it's growing, but it's still, it still seems to be hard to, to, to keep myself inspired <laughs> as well as them constantly. So maybe you have some tips for me. Well, you know, obviously I don't know your entire situation, but a couple of things. You know, um, you know a lot of when I talk to some of my clients, what is the motivator for them? Oftentimes when you get to certain areas of your life, You've got to get to things outside yourself to motivate you. Meaning, you know, I don't know your situation, but uh, you know, you're always going to be okay. But if there's something else in your life that can inspire you, that um, you know, maybe your son or your daughter or your best friend or somebody who needs your help, that way you can always think about that person in regards to getting you to make the extra phone call, uh, getting you to send out the extra email or some things like that. Is there anything you're shooting for individually in, in regards to your organization or anything you want to achieve? Uh, yeah, well, there's oh, there are always um, incentives with our company. I'm trying right. to earn the Mercedes that they're that they're offering, and the of course oh, the, right. the trips that they're offer, offering. So it's you know it's, but I'm a stay-at-home mom, so sometimes I get sidetracked with, you know, being around the house. So yeah, you know, yeah. so sometimes it's hard. You know, do should I make specific office hours mm -hmm. and shut the door and lock it? I mean, right. I'm just, you know. Well, I've got a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple ideas for you, and I and I've had a client uh, with your situation before. Uh, two quick things. Number one, I've found that uh, I mean, when you're a stay-at-home mom, you've got all kind of stuff coming on and things that that aren't planned that show up, and you got to adjust to those things. So, one of the things I've found is is it's your mindset, and what I call in is you know what you put in is what you get out. So, a suggestion for you is I call it the ten-minute rule, and that's right when you wake up in the morning, whether it's five a.m. or eight a.m., whatever you do. Uh, listen to something or read something positive because what happens is it keeps your mind fresh and it gets you thinking about where you want to go and what you want to do. I've been doing, yeah, just for, for, for 10 minutes and I've found that really helps keep you on track. Is that something you think you can do? That sounds great, yeah. Yeah, and then the other thing is I think you hit it right on the head because you are a stay-at-home mom and you get sidetracked and there's things that come up. Um, I would come up, and I don't know it's necessarily office hours because you have to be flexible, but come up with uh, a certain amount of time that you might want to block out. Maybe it's, I don't know which, how much you spend in your business. Maybe it's an hour a day. Maybe it's two hours a day. You know, maybe it's a certain amount a week that'll help you. But I would make a goal, just say hypothetically, your goal is to do an hour and a half or two hours a day. So it could be at any time. So you know what, Cheryl, can you, uh, we're headed towards a break. Are you able to hold on the line for a minute? Because I want to finish up with you. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, we're headed towards a break. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, it's a bonus. If you call in right now, some callers will receive my new book entitled The 10-Minute Coach. Remember, the number to call is 800-983-1870. We'll be right back. You're watching Your True Potential, and my name is Dan Lear. Welcome back to this special live edition of Your True Potential. And we're talking to Cheryl. She's on the line and she was talking about how to keep herself motivated as well as her team and her direct selling organization. Are you still with us, Cheryl? I'm still here. Great. So we talked about two things. Number one is listen to something or, or read something positive in the morning. Just 10, 10 minutes to get your mind on track and focused on success. And then step two is 
uh, course out some hours during the day or during the week. Let me ask you a question. What would your goal be as far as on a daily basis? To how much time would you like to allocate towards your business to be successful? If I could put in two hours a day, that would be great. Okay. Then uh, that, would be, that would be fantastic. And also, uh, because you're a single mother and because you, you have to be flexible, I would, I would put on your goal is 10 hours a week as far as a five-day week. Because okay. maybe, maybe on Monday, you might be on fire and you're going two, three hours in a row, but then on Wednesday, maybe you've got an issue and it takes you out of the box and then you, then you don't, might not feel successful. So if you put a, a weekly goal of 10 hours, then you can find yourself feeling successful at the end of the week, plus you're putting in the time that you really want to do. Does that make sense? That does. Great. Now, is that something you feel comfortable with? I do. Would you suggest that it would be half um, working on my team and half on my on my customers or yeah, 60, again, I, 40 or how do, what do you think? Well, again, I don't know a lot about your business, but I think you need to figure out what's best for you to build your business. And I think the more you talk to, talk to your team, the more you can inspire them, be positive, the better it is for you because people like to be around people who are positive and, and that's what leadership's all about. So thanks for calling in, Cheryl. I really appreciate it and I know you're gonna be very successful. Keep up the good work.